we have the pirate which is a piglin but boom there's the king slime the boys are jamming as you can see the boys are jamming hey yo, everyone welcome back to another terraria video today we are checking out that amazing minecraft texture pack we checked out a while ago for terraria and it has had a giant update and as you can see here we're around all the npcs because it has transformed i believe every single npc into a either minecraft mob or villager whatever you want to say and let's just start by checking it out because there's a lot of content we got to cover here but let's start by going through all these villages we got the cyborg who is maybe just a villager that is a cyborg or he's an iron golem i have no idea he looks cool either way next up we got the steampunker nose as big as ever we got the mechanic down here we got the party girl looking fly we got the wizard looking exactly how i expected the wizard to look we have the tax collector okay very interesting that the tax collector is just a regular pig man but i guess it kind of makes sense because i believe the underworld is the nether in this texture pack we have the pirate which is a pig and we'll get into why it's a piglin later I, I feel like you could already figure out why wink wink the pirate invasion is a piglin invasion next up we got the painter here nice hat we got the angler here which is nice and accurate he's smaller than everyone else because he's a kid so at least they kept that consistent we have the goblin tinkerer which he is a pillager slash vindicator whatever the hell you want to say illager and uh there's a there's gonna be a certain reason why he's a pillager wink wink the goblin invasion is a pillager invasion next up we got the witch doctor here very very unique looking i don't know where he's covering up his nose i guess he is a lizard so like i don't know might be a different race completely so there's no big nose included but still looks cool either way we got the chippy npc over here everyone's favorite npc looking snazzy in that nice little red coat next up we got the stylus then we have the arms dealer next up we got another unique one being the tavern keep we got the dryad wearing more clothes than usual we have the die trader die trader looks really cool quickly if we look outside we do have the traveling merchant here and of course he's the traveling merchant from minecraft i believe this is the guide he's the most plain one yes sir we got the regular merchant looking exactly as i would expect next up here we got the truffle look at him beautiful <laughs> and last but not least we have the nurse and the demolitionist now there's probably a couple of npcs uh missing here and uh, i'm using an all item world because it's the best idea i had for finding all the npcs in one spot and as you can see their mini map icons are beautiful but i don't believe santa claus has a sprite maybe the princess has one maybe whatever other npcs i'm missing has one like i don't see the zoologist or the golfer i don't know where the hell they're at maybe i gotta go in a different world i don't think i have a single world that has the princess on it uh so we might not just see her at all okay i'm on a world that has the golfer as you can see it's the golfer but a villager i don't remember how many noises were in the original video but when you open doors you know, they make the door noise when you go in your inventory it makes the popping noise you place a torch it makes a wooden torch placing noise we have the zool out zoologist here i wonder what she looks like transformed i don't know if i wonder enough to sit in the world until it's nighttime but yeah any npc i missed i'll try and put the picture on the screen because like i legit don't think i have any worlds with some of the npcs i missed but look at that it's a slime green slime beautiful so before we hop into some more of the new things we're gonna check out some things that they re-sprited uh just a handful of things here starting with the i cthulhu queen bee king slime they also re-sprited the demon eye wandering eye and skeletron's arms yeah let's start with the king slime i'm interested oh look at the boss bar was that always like that i don't think it was see we did a we did the original video such a long time ago that like i barely remember anything but boom there's the king slime i think the crown looks different and the boss itself looks a little bit different uh, i kind of want to see what it looks like when it gets smaller it legit just shrinks in size as expected but there you go there was that let's make it nighttime here so we can check out the eye hopefully you guys can still see a little bit it shouldn't be too bad but you know how it is youtube and editing usually makes it super dark but there's the eye i don't see much of a resprite here uh i do really like the nice touches of all the little details with the health bar and stuff and it's also nice hearing the minecraft noises every time you hit something but let's let's see the second phase here maybe that's what's different i think it looks a little bit different can't specifically tell if i'm being honest all right here we are we are at the jungle let's see the queen bee 
Oh, she looks a lot boxier. I like to see that because she did look uh, she did look huge originally, I believe. So this is definitely a better respray. So there is a ton of new weapon sprites and we're just gonna breeze through them here. We're not gonna check out every single one because obviously there's a good bit to check out if we did check out every single one. But as we can see, the tools looking a little bit different, the pearlwood stuff looking purple. I'm assuming once I notice something that is respritted for this texture pack, it'll be a lot more square, I'd assume. I don't know, that's usually what you do when you Minecraftify something. But some things are looking honestly unique, like the beekeeper is looking unique. Like, there's a couple things that look pretty unique. The enchanted sword looks cool. Like, honestly, the sprites are way cooler than I thought they were gonna be, or at least the re-sprites. The scissors are giant shears. I feel like we went over that in the original video. Of course, the trident is a trident. The zombie arm is legit a zombie Minecraft arm we got some maces in here and i'm assuming a lot of these things are also based off of minecraft dungeon weapons and minecraft dungeons has a bunch of cool weapons so it's honestly dope to see some of them in here i like how the blowpipe and blowgun are legit the same thing but this one just has like leather wrapped around it and i believe there actually is a blowpipe also in minecraft dungeons i do know there's a fist weapon in minecraft dungeons and that weapon is fun to mess around with but we got stuff like this the last prism uh the shadow flame hex doll those have like some major respites you could tell uh let's go ahead and try them out here in person okay i guess you don't really see my character that was an interesting noise <laughs> we got the last prism here let's see if any other mobs make minecraft noises uh i don't remember what the hell this thing is called. is this just a beacon this might just be a beacon that or it's something from uh, Minecraft story mode. I have like no recollection of Minecraft story mode stuff because I've never watched videos of it. Maybe like one or two videos on it and then I've never played it. But there's still a lot cool, a lot of cool stuff and details from Minecraft story mode in this texture pack. All right, let us go ahead and check out some invasions here to see some of the new uh, sprites on some enemies. We're gonna start with the goblin army. I'm expecting this to be the hard mode goblin army, but I guess we'll see in a second. Uh, don't tell anyone, but this clip compared to like the last four or five clips earlier in the episode i'm recording this like weeks later that's how it is sometimes when i do videos who's that is it the ender dragon who is that i don't know maybe it's the the, the red ender dragon y you know what i mean if you if you know what i mean you know what i mean you know what i mean <laughs> all right here we go goblin army so we got some pillagers some vindicators some whatever the hell they're all called and as you can see we got the sorcerers they're casting the spells we got the the vindicators as the what warriors pretty much uh, of course if you hit them they make minecraft noises beautiful love to see it honestly it, just the sounds in this texture pack alone are just like amazing oh we got vindicators without helmets okay okay uh and then we got the pillagers is that what they're called see there's so many names for these dudes illager pillager vindicator illusioner there are too many names uh but let's see the summoner right here it's just pretty much another oh it's an illusionist no that's not their name they have a name i forget all their damn names evoker evoker that is their name and then you got the little motherfuckers that fly around oh god i don't remember their names either vexes there you go i got all the names evoker vexes vindicator pillager illager uh ass fucker all right look at that they got a nice little creeper blimp back there i wonder who's flying it they can't pick me up or anything that's kind of messed up all right so that was the pillager raid now let's check out the piglin raid which is the pirate invasion and uh, here they are we got the piglins you know these guys are sort of the newer stuff in minecraft is that a piglin bat or a bat that's a pig what the hell but yeah they got all their different outfits on let's see here we got a corsair with the swords we got the deck hands uh which which they, they're just kind of walking around you got the dead eyes they legit have a golden pistol very interesting and i believe once we kill enough to get the uh, flying dutchman to spawn in that's when stuff might get a little crazy i wonder where the captain is though. i kind of want to see a captain uh, of course we got the crossbowers and they got crossbows the cutlass is changed here into a golden sword very nice detail you know there's a lot of little details i'm not going to be able to cover in this uh showcase and that's for you guys to you know play and see yourself but if you can't play it and see for yourself you know oh well just play some minecraft i guess if you can't even play minecraft then it's like oh well i don't know draw pictures okay it seems like the captains are brutes uh i accidentally killed one. Oh, there you go there he is the captain is a brute he's got his little cannon and stuff he's shooting at us but uh when we uh, kill him 
he does indeed turn into the uh, the ghost. And the ghost is also a pigman, which is very adorable. But yeah, let's go ahead and see some Dutchmans now. Because that's where stuff gets really, really cool. There we go. There's the Dutchman. Look at this thing. This is insane. Now, I think this is from Minecraft Story Mode. If it isn't, it could also be from uh, that Captain Sparkles video. You know, the one where he had all the cool nether stuff. There's a lot of cool stuff in the Captain Sparkle music videos. But I'm assuming it's one of those things. Because obviously, I, I don't know. I've never seen it in vanilla Minecraft. But this shit is cool we got the little dj on top the boys are jamming as you can see the boys are jamming the animation is beautiful we got the gas down here piloting it it has like nether portals and stuff it's really dope looking like the spriting on this texture pack is my favorite thing about it good job melster and whoever else is helping melster it might just be him but the spriting on this texture pack is just amazing yeah let's go ahead and kill it see if there's any cool animation for killing it Okay, there's a pretty cool animation. All the boys fell out. Oh, no. So, honestly, I think we covered the pretty major things of the update. Again, like I said, we're not going to be able to cover every single little thing because there's a lot of new stuff. You guys can check out the uh, change log and all the stuff for yourself on the forum page. But I am excited for the next update that's coming to this because the next update is the uh, 1.4 update for this texture pack, not for Terraria. But it's called the 1.4 update, and it's going to be adding in a bunch of boss textures and stuff like that. I'll put a picture on the screen of what i mean it looks amazing but yeah i'm gonna end this video here hope you guys enjoyed make sure to check out the texture pack shout out milster for making it i'll see y'all next time